Maverick crew went with them. Stay by your side. <coughs> Down by your side. Well, <laughs> we are going to crack You've this. You've got a tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> you get bag inflated and you yeah. stop. But what if you said you played the flute? Okay. Yeah, maybe you should stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> Do something for women to live. Have a go. Well, welcome back, Robert and Elka. Now, were you all full of the joys of spring, like the lambs? Or were you feeling a bit sheepish at the end of the day? Let's find out. I think I'd like to go on a date with a girl who was, um, I don't know, not, not quite so brash. She was, um, <laughs> somebody that you could have, you, were, you didn't feel you, you were in competition with. Robert's very frumpy or old fashioned in his pace. <laughs> They're extremely feminine um, in the way they talk. Um, even to drinking, they should drink out of small glasses and wear long skirts and just look, you know, feminine permanently. To me, she didn't really wear clothes that complemented her figure at all. When we went out for the meal, she wore a really nice dress and that, that complemented her figure quite nicely and I thought, you know, she showed quite an attractive figure. Rob actually tried to make a compliment about this, which it didn't come out as a compliment at all because he looked me up and down and said, oh, you look nice, as if he was really amazed by the fact I could actually look nice. Um, whilst we were in the, um, the restaurant on the date, it was called The Witchery, which was quite funny because the theme <laughs> of the restaurant was that an old witch would sit at your dinner table while you were eating. So he turned around to the taxi driver and he says, well, I'll be sat next to a witch all evening anyway. So I thumped him and winded him, actually. <laughs> and then um, it came round to the fact that it was a dummy. And I said, even if I didn't get the witch, I've still got the dummy. <laughs> and uh, she thumped me again, which I suppose is quite understandable, really, under the circumstances. But, I mean, we had a laugh about that, but... <laughs> So that was the only thing we really laughed at. I made an obvious effort to try and get him involved, just sort of dragging him around and joking with him and just everything I could possibly do to get a conversation out of this person and maybe even a nice remark would have been nice, but alas. I think generally Elf was more interested in the sheep and the animals than she was in me. <laughs> we were given 
these sheep whistles, which is like sort of two semicircles of plastic um, with one edge, and you put the edge against the back of your tongue and you blow, and it's really, really hard to do. I just couldn't get the hang of it. And I seem to pick it up quite quickly, and I mean, I'm just not musical at all, and I found that quite amusing. <laughs> and I uh, let her know that as well. If I was actually asked to sum Robert up, I couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> I tried so much during the course of the day that it would be impossible for me to actually say what he was like all the time. He seemed rather false for most of the day to me. I think if, she, if Elka was a natural self, I think we'd have got on quite well, because when we were actually together, on our own, just talking one-to-one, -one, and she, she wasn't putting on a front, we got on really well. I think if Robert summed me up, it wouldn't be particularly nice. Um, I can't imagine him saying anything nice about me. He didn't during the day, so I don't see why he should now. I wouldn't say Elka was an unattractive person at all. It's just that she didn't... She didn't pull the right strings for me, I'm afraid. Um, at the beginning of the day, Robert made no effort to get on with me, but by the end of the day, I actually think he thought, well, maybe I wasn't so bad after all, and there was an effort made there, but by this time, I was fed up with him. Basically, it was my fault that the day didn't go very well, because, I don't know, Elka... Elka was really trying hard, and, um, I don't know, I just... I just couldn't really get into the swing of things because of this clash of personalities. I think the only thing I had in common with Robert was we both didn't find each other physically attractive. <laughs> no, I think at the end of the day, Elka and I had absolutely nothing in common. And uh, apart from the fact that we were actually on a blind date together. <laughs> Robert and Elka, what can I say? Not a lot. As as Where's the wedding? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Mind you, you were a bit naughty, Robert, right from the start. I mean, you, you said all those rotten things about it all through the day, not only on film, all through the day. Now, why did you do that? Well, uh... I'm beginning to eat my words now. I mean, look how smartly she's dressed tonight. I think she looks quite look lovely tonight. Look how scruffy he black. Oh, no, I know. I thought I'll, I'll dress to Elka's taste today, and now she's gone in there. Uh, <laughs> I can't win. <clears throat> well, what could you do to make a little bit more effort? As you say, she's a very attractive lady, and she's lovely dressed this evening. I mean, uh, in Scotland anyway, where you were with the animals, no. you can't really dress to kill, <laughs> can Robert you? If Robert had his way, I would have been running around the field in a Laura Ashley dress, you know, <laughs> a sheep type thing. <laughs> <laughs> change Elka in any way I mean how would you change her then plastic surgery <laughs> <laughs> on, how would you um, change her? I don't know I think I'd, I'd I'd like her to be more on a level because she she changes her personality as well it's fitting with yours dear oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? I stood up. Well, you should have done on the day because you said such dreadful things. So, in a word, I mean, it's, it's a silly question. It's a stupid to ask. I mean, are you going to see each other again? <laughs> <laughs> Even, you know, just to sort of yell at each other. Um, now that uh, you know more about each other personality-wise, I mean, could you just be just friends, perhaps? Oh, we could be friends, yeah, rather than sparring partners, which it was all the date, wasn't it, really? Yeah, says, there was a couple of times when I could have fractured Robert's jaw in three places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, he did say, didn't he, Elker, on last week's show, that one of his girlfriends had actually broken his jaw. Yeah, good one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. So there's no hope. You you think no, I, you I, could be friends, but there's no. It's a no, no hope. No, I mean, you. if he came down to see me, then I mean, we've we've got on all right. I mean, I wouldn't say we're the best of pals, and we certainly didn't fancy each other. But no, I wouldn't mind if he came down to see me. You could have a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. you could have a cup of tea. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, at least that's something, isn't it, Robert? <laughs> Thank you both very much for coming on Blind Dates. I'm so you. sorry it didn't work out, ladies and gentlemen. Robert and Elka. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take a break now, but join us in a couple of minutes to find out if Katie and Nigel enjoyed their date in Gibraltar and to meet the lucky 